<laughs> I have to ask about other part-time and full-time opportunities for cricketers. Like, what what do you suggest? What are you seeing out there? Are are there more opportunities for people to dive in after after retiring from the game? It's better than before, but not as good as uh, it should be. So, for example, probably the generation of cricketers before me had no opportunities beyond a railway job. uh they'll probably have a government job or railway job which allows them to play cricket in their playing days probably the usual arrangement is that you get half the day off for training and then you can take um that time and um, play cricket but once you retire from active playing cricket you have to work in the office full time and that's your life so those are the opportunities that was probably the biggest opportunity now there is a generation of cricketers who if they're good enough don't need to rely on a railway job they can get into the indian team have contracts that's your top level at your medium level there are opportunities uh, far and few between but for cricketers who have spent a number of years on the domestic circuit and who have good coaching skills there are opportunities in coaching there are opportunities in fitness training uh, there are opportunities as a video analyst middle barrier of entry also has opportunities as a match referee um and then a lower barrier of entry has scorers umpires video analysts because you don't need to have played the game to become either of these and uh, especially umpiring and video analysis there are a lot of opportunities for women um so any cricketers who you know want to maybe create a, a standby career or want to start thinking about uh, a transition into another career opportunities in um, umpiring and video analysis are very much uh, there very real